side by side. No, Trans Am is steeped in history, and Ford has been a big part of it. CEO of Ford, Jim Farley, has come along with some awesome, iconic cars. It's so humbling for all of us who lead Ford to have this history of Trans Am, you know. This is when all three domestic companies went after each other every weekend. And uh, it's so exciting for our, our employees, too. Henry Ford founded the company on racing. Then thunder on for a running start as the flag drops. Carnelly Jones in his school bus yellow Mustang jumps into the lead. The cars behind us range from 67 through 1970. This is what we did. We had factory race cars, we had individual race cars, and they all competed every weekend, banging and shoving on each other until someone won. They dice for 40 laps. We might be in the third heyday of Trans Am. What do you think of modern day Trans Am? It is so exciting for me to see the intense competition. I mean, the field is so narrow. There's such good racing. And there's young people coming in the sport, creating their own you know, career starting in Trans Am. That's what this should be. This is really what professional racing in America should start, like Trans Am. Don't go anywhere. After the break, we get back to the action. <laughs>